AI, the brand new and revolutionary digital album from Paradise Decay is now available on Bandcamp. Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Hopefully a very interesting video today. At the moment I'm playing Hellblade and this is an official VR mod or an official Hello. VR mode for the game. Nice this game you have to play with either the mouse and keyboard or gamepad. So today I'm using the Xbox One controller. I now have an RTX 3080 Ti, so all the graphics are on high, and I'm recording the gameplay from the Rift S. So I'm running Oculus Mirror, and as you can see, I'm inside the game. This is all in 3D. I'm behind the main character. This looks absolutely amazing. Now this is an official mod for the game by the developers. I told you of the others. So I can look behind me look. We hear them too, right? I've got full head tracking. Since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old. Some are new, but they've So I do feel like I'm inside the actual game. And this is a game I wanted to try on the maximum settings on my new card. So we're going to play a bit of the game and then I want to show you something really interesting after this game. You've probably seen the thumbnail already. You see it too. You promised you I see dead people. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the northmen call hell. Now the sound in this game is absolutely amazing and they do recommend you play this game with the headphones and again this is probably a game a lot of people have overlooked and they did not realise there's a VR mode for the game and again this is another game I've never managed to actually finish or complete. Every now and then throughout the intro, I am noticing some slight stutters. The game is pausing slightly. I have been hearing reports that this game is quite demanding, even on a 3090. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. Darkness. It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it. Turn away. The uh, resolution in game is set it's to 150%. Like where you're most vulnerable. And the it's like quality of the graphics is on flight. very high. Is all you need to see it suffocate. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. This still looks amazing though. It's far. Far deeper. 
while you're watching this video I want you to take note of everything the head tracking the graphics the 3d that sort of thing the uh, cutscenes run like a, a 3d cinema the screen's quite a distance away what is she looking at And I've not really touched anything with the no graphic settings, I've left everything alone. So this is a fresh oh, install of the game. Fresh install of Windows and a brand new graphics no card. You can't do it. Then who pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Okay, we now have control of the uh, main character. And like I said guys, this is all in 3D. It looks stunning. Now I can't move um, the camera up and down with the, with the thumbsticks. I'm having to use my actual head look. So in this game, my head is representing the uh, thumbsticks that you normally use to move the camera playing like a flat game and again I want you to make a note of the uh, thumbstick movements so I'm moving um, the main character forward now look really clearly focus and focus focus and you'll see what happens if you focus Do not forget my story, Senua, because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate, but gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea, and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and you'll find a bridge covered in gold. This is really, really cool. And again, I'm controlling the character with the gamepad. So I am playing the game the same way I would play this game on a flat screen. But playing this game in VR. I've got full 3D and um, it's all life sized so she looks like a real person in front of me and the world feels the right size they look like real trees and in VR you've got the added bonus of you got the the depth the 3D depth so your brain thinks this is a real place and it does feel like a real place now I am noticing on high settings a lot more particles in the world. I'm trying to remember all the controls. I'm sure we could grab this. Nope. And it's really cool to see all the particles coming over your shoulder. I have to admit I'm not a fan of the cutscenes with the small screen. The land of mist and fog. Her dear beloved. Dillian. Okay, we're back in the immersive world. If you're fairly new to VR, you've been playing VR for about a year or so. You're probably used to playing games 
with the motion controllers. He's already dead. Now, four or five years ago, when we first had VR, we had to play games like this. We did not have the uh, motion controllers, so we had plenty of games very similar to this. We had like Edge of Nowhere, Kronos, um, lots of games we played with the with the gamepad basically. And when I got my Rift, my first VR headset, inside the box was an Xbox controller, just like this. And the uh, motion controllers came later on. I think it was about two years later. We got the uh, motion controllers. Now a lot of people do not think this is proper VR. But I am 100% immersed in the game. This is so realistic. It feels so real. I feel like I'm on a real beach. Walking behind this character here. Don't be fooled by these types of games that you can play on a gamepad. Just because you don't have full control of your hands, it does not make the experience less of a VR experience. If you go to Steam, this game has got very positive ratings. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. I do believe I can run somehow. Let me try to figure out what the buttons are. Let's see, shall we? And this still looks incredible. Now sadly, the sequel, the developers are not adding VR support, which is a shame. So we're going to have to add our own VR, something like Reshade or Vorpex. Okay, we're going to head towards the bridge up there. The Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants it's dwell raining. in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead. This looks stunning, Alfheim. guys. It really does. And that is where you must travel. And I do believe the game is quite cheap now. And it's often in the sales. Don't fall. So I'm going to try and get to um, a battle sequence so you can see some fighting. And then we're going to move on to the next game I want to show you. No, this is it. The hidden path. Okay, focus on the symbol. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. Okay, we need to find the symbol which is here. Look. Very clever because the uh, symbols are actually shadows. So this should now be open. The gate is open. Go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. It worked. Thank you. It's safe. I spent six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. Really cool effects with the rain coming down from the sky. Life. Just like real life. My people did. stories with you and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury an 
If you're crying out for full AAA games in VR, try to make them go away. there's one right here. Pretend they weren't real. Okay, you might not have no uh, motion controllers. We are always here. Still playable, still an amazing game. That looked amazing with the lightning in the background. The if you're new to VR, it's really hard to explain to you what I can see. All I can tell you is, this is a 3D world. The ground looks like it's a long way down. That waterfall is about 200 feet away. The uh, statue over there, that's like 2,000 feet away. But this looks like a real cave. Okay, so we're about to do the first battle. And then I'm going to show you the next game. And I want you to compare certain aspects between this game and the next game I'm going to show you. Also, the method I'm using. Whatever horrors lie behind that door. So make a note of how I'm playing the game with the Xbox controller. How I'm moving the camera. Someone's here. Really cool effects with the uh, dust particles. She can see me now. She looks amazing. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I see you. I'm the voice in your head. You took him from me. It's raining. Careful, love. My head set. There's no way to play this game first person mode. So this is like a third person game. The game does have an experimental mode where you can play from a top down perspective. Very similar to how you play like Diablo type games. And as you can see, I'm playing this game like a normal game. Now you are supposed to die here, so... Death is an option. It is robbed. 
If you like games like Dark Souls, you'll probably love this game. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul. So every time you die, the dark rot will grow inside you. So this is Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice, the official VR mode for the game. Made by the actual developers. Open Sesame. So as you can see, very similar to like Dark Souls, it's got some really cool puzzles. We do. It's got some really cool enemies to fight. And combat is very similar to Dark Souls. I'm just trying to see if there's any bad guys we can fight before we uh, move on to the next game. These characters look amazing, look. He looks like a uh, predator. Okay, we've got duck. Dodge. Kick him. Strike. Very satisfying combat, as you can see. Stay down. Okay, guys. So I'm going to move on to the uh, not stop her. next game. Okay, guys. So this is The Witcher 3 in VR with a program called Reshade and Super Depth 3D. And I'm using a first-person mod. So basically, I'm The Witcher. And I'm playing the game, first person mode, look. You can see my shadow there, look. And this looks just the same as Hellblade. Now, this is a flat game. It's not been designed to play in VR. But I'm playing the game the exact same way I played Hellblade. I'm using the gamepad. Now, I can't physically look around as you can see, I'm playing this game on a giant 3D screen. Uh, this screen's in 3D. It's uh, life-size. I feel like I'm in this place for real. This horse over here looks like a real horse. It's the size of a real horse. This looks like a real person as well. Now I can bring the screen closer if I want to or I can move it further away and this screen is about the same size screen as the one you get when you go to the cinema 
and you watch a 3D film. Now the only difference is, in the last game I could use my head to look around. I'm having to use the thumbstick to move my head. But you do get used to it. This feels just like a normal VR game. Playing with a, with a gamepad. And it's the same principle. I'm not using the motion controllers. I'm playing this game the same way I would play this game if it was on a flat screen. Now at the end of this video I'm going to allow you to watch the gameplay and see the 3D yourself. If you've got a VR headset all you need is a program like Virtual Desktop or Big Screen and that's going to allow you to watch the end of this video in 3D. So I've already pre-recorded some footage in 3D. Pop on your headset, bring up the 3D browser, watch my gameplay and you're going to see what I can see right now. And right now this game is in 3D. So we're just going to have a quick wander around. Look, we're going to um, kill some bad guys. Some bad guys here. Let me grab a spell. A magic trap. Let's go for the uh, fire one. Now the only problem with this mod is every now and then you get to see the shoulders. These creatures in 3D look amazing. There's no native VR support for this game so this is the only way you can play this game in like a VR headset. I've got my graphic settings in the game set to the maximum and again this world looks amazing very similar to uh, Hellblade there's really no difference really dodge out of the way Burn them. Burn them with fire. Now you're playing this on a big screen so you're not actually inside the world like Hellblade. So if I look behind me, look, there's nothing behind me. Well like I said, you can bring the screen closer. And after a while you forget about the screen on the edges. But how cool does this world look? It looks absolutely amazing guys. And it's got the same 3D depth. It feels just like Hellblade. There's really no difference between this and Hellblade. Look at these guys here. Come on. If you want to play this game the same way as Hellblade in third person then just don't install the mod. So I'll leave a link to the first person mod below the video in the description. Also there will be a link to a video where I show you how to install Reshade and Super Depth 3D. Look at this. Some dead rabbits. There's a shrine here. But the uh, 3D is absolutely stunning guys, it really is. And this is on the highest settings. There's Bambi. I'm going to call my horse. Where's my horse? Let 
There he is. Come here, boy. The sensation of depth here is amazing. I'm going to show the 3D depth working physically at the end of this session. The only thing that's a bit jarring with this um, first person mod is that when you spin around sometimes look you can see your shoulders because basically your head's on a swivel but again that's something you can live with because the gameplay is so immersive how cool does this world look you can see the uh, rays coming through the trees okay we're going to find some items in here skeleton there chest grab the sword you do have to um, turn the camera though to match the the horse move it because if you try to turn the horse the camera is going to continue to face forwards okay I do believe this is the uh, the farm with the witch that we have to summon lots of dead creatures here So I'm using my witching mode look. We have some loot in here. You do get used to playing the game this way as well. There's like gravestones here look. But like I said this is the only way you're going to play this game in VR basically with mods found a chest black magic doll I do believe that's what we use to summon the uh, the demon as well I do know there's a quest here to um, fight a demon but I've only just started the game I've not really got to the uh, the main village Try to find a way out. There we did it. Whoo. I can basically play The Witcher 3 the whole game now in VR in amazing 3D. And that's something you're not going to be able to do normally unless the uh, developers add proper VR support which they could do on the uh, PlayStation VR 2 but for now this is the best we can get guys I'm now going to show you the 3D depth working physically and then I'm going to show you some 3D gameplay that you can watch in your headset chopped his head off chopped him in off we completed the quest the 3D here is amazing, just amazing. Okay, I'm now going to show you the uh, 3D depth working. This is Reshade. This is how Reshade splits the game into two images, one for the left eye, one for the right eye. That gives you the 3D image in your in your headset. So hit the home key. Uh, this is the Reshade menu. Like I said, if you want to see how to install Reshade, check out the video in the link below the description. If you know what you're doing with Reshade, 
I set my IPD to 64 scroll down set the uh, depth map adjustment between 40 and 60 that's the uh, the 3d depth so the higher the number the more 3d you get now some of the interactions when the characters too close I found it 60 they look a bit funny so like when you start the game and you do the tutorial where you're fighting with the little girl sometimes she's a bit she looks a bit weird at 60 if you set the depth map to 30 she looks normal but the uh, lower the number here the less the 3d is so this is your 3d setting this is going to give you the, the 3d depth now if I hit the depth map view you can see the 3d look the darker the gray the closer the, uh, the characters are to your face so if I move around now look you can actually see the 3d working look there look my shoulders look my shoulder my sword is really close in front of my eye that guy's in the distance and uh, that guy's over in the distance over there so this is the this is showing the 3d working I'm going to leave you now with some 3D gameplay. Look at that with the uh, sunset. Nothing left but the play. Beg evil spare. I'm recording the screen now, so if you want to put on your VR headset, you can see this in 3D. And I'm going to give you about 10 minutes of 3D gameplay, so you can see what this game looks like in 3D. Absolutely amazing. Here's my sword. And we have the uh, shout. And I'm going to call my horse. Where is he? Now, if you don't have a VR headset and you still want to watch this part of the video in 3D, you have to use the uh, stereo 3D trick. Basically, you shrink the screen down to the size of a postcard. And then you look at the left image with your left eye, look at the right image with your right eye, and you have to try and blend the images together so that it forms one picture. You'll basically see three images, and the middle image will be 3D. So if you want to know how to do this with the naked eye, I would highly recommend you search for Viewing 3D Stereoscopic with the Naked Eye. You'll find loads of guides on how to um, watch 3D content without a VR headset or 3D glasses. I do know some people have been watching my videos on 3D monitors and 3D TVs. This is going to um, convert to a 3D image on your TV or monitor. I'm going to leave you now with some 3D gameplay so thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe, be sure to my little Let's bell go. and I'll see you in the next one. We're going to have a quick gallop around in this amazing countryside. And as you see, I'm having to move the camera to follow the horse around. But you get a really nice sense of the uh, 3D world here. Come on. Okay, we're in the swamps, aren't we? And the uh, sun's going down now, so... I can use my Witcher Sense to sense the demons. Oh, crap. So now you're getting some really cool uh, 3D images here. How menacing do these creatures look in 3D? 
Any more? Stunning. Come on, Kazan!